All right, we're away. Hello guys, it's Chris here, and today I want to talk about something that doesn't really get mentioned a lot on YouTube, and that is making YouTube videos, strangely enough. Now, it's something I get quite a lot of questions on, and something I've also found quite topical recently is what actually happens between me sitting here talking to myself in my bedroom and you guys watching this right now on my YouTube channel after the whole editing is finished and everything's live. So what I want to do in this video is show you a bit of an insight into making YouTube videos and show you that as much as I'd love to, daily uploads of the Ultimate Team, as a lot of you ask, just... There's more chance of my Sunday League team winning the Champions League and we lost 9-0 yesterday, so we're not close. I do just want to make clear that this video is not about complaining about my job in any way, though. I hopefully will have shown some of you guys, though, by the end of it, why I can't upload three videos every day to the standard I like to get mine to. What I generally say on the matter is, you know, my job is an absolute dream job for me. I love doing what I do. Every single day, I'm grateful for the position I'm in. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's so many jobs out there that are more strenuous, more demanding, more stressful, less flexible than what I do. And I'm just grateful for it, you know? And I enjoy every single minute. I Well, obviously, with a couple of exceptions. Coming up against Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is obviously Exhibit A. At the same time, that's not to be confused with the time that goes into keeping up something like this. Because most of us easily spend as many hours working as we would if we had like a 9-6 to six proper job. Do you see what I'm saying? There's a difference between having a job that's really easy but hardly takes any time to keep up and a job that is really enjoyable so that the working hours are just more of a paid hobby, if you saw what I'm saying. They're that enjoyable but does take still a lot of time to keep up. There's a difference there. What I'm saying is I don't just sit here messing around for 50% of my time and that's why I can't upload daily. You know, I could just sit here messing around and get paid for it. That came out badly. So let's focus on the last episode of my series, The Ultimate Team. These videos tend to be some of my longer ones, the ones that take a little bit more time to edit. Uh, and a little bit more time to record if I think I'm better at football than I actually am, which has happened a couple of times. <laughs> and uh, to slowly break you into it, I think I'll show you the finished project um, as it is. So I use Sony Vegas to edit first up, and uh, this is what the, it looks very, videos look very different to me. It does turn into a bit of a mouth, and there's lots of different aspects to it, which is my own fault because it's my own series. But that's what it looks like after everything's, you know, done and dusted to, to kind of put that out there straight away. Now, I was interested to get some, like, concrete data, I guess, on how long you guys think, first of all, without any biased, you know, information from me, you think it would take me to make one of these episodes. Five to seven hours was the most popular answer, with eight to ten not too far behind that, and then above ten not too far behind that one. So probably with, like, an average answer of around eight hours, something like that. So you, you guys on average reckon it takes me, you know, eight hours to create one of these videos. So just keep that in mind. The first thing I do in these episodes is go and record the challenge for the particular episode, because obviously I need to know how long it's taken me to complete it, to add in the players after each game. And something I'm finding more and more important having a decent plan of what's gonna happen in sort of anything you're doing in life generally I'm finding is is fairly important so life tips with Chris hashtag that all the stuff behind me is the equipment I take to record the challenges first off and I don't really talk about all that stuff that often so we can turn it into a bit of a setup video first this Lumix GF6 this used to be my main camera serves me pretty well you know it's got the classic flip up screen so no issues with that old tripod so I have one camera uh, that one I tend to use for sort of second angles and um, the ones behind the goal you see sometimes. This is my main camera, Canon 70D. I got it fairly recently, and it is just my sun and my stars, essentially. This mic I use when I'm recording outside because it means I can put this uh, like wind cover on it, which gets rid of so much of the noise. You may have noticed the audio quality's improved somewhat in recent videos. All of this is just perfect for recording outside, basically. And this camera has like a really impressive um, tracking autofocus so it you know will notice what's kind of moving on the screen and make sure it focuses on the important parts so that is ideal and then i have my gopro that I records you know the really slow motion which is absolutely ideal for stuff like that and the amount of times I've hit this with a mitre football is just unbelievable and it's still going very strong these things you couldn't destroy them in the fires of Mordor anyway various lens covers memory sticks you know spare batteries spare batteries that is an absolute nightmare on these anyway it's my camera bag that I tend to stick all my stuff in and that is just ideal and obviously the footballs are also quite a big part of it usually but they're all downstairs at the moment so I'm up to about six now 
It's always a lot easier if you have other people helping you, you know, with the recording. But the other day I was doing it just by myself. So it, you kind of have to check, like, if everything's recording, um, if it's pointing in the right view. More importantly, you have to get all the footballs yourself. And that was 90% uh, of what I was doing the other day if you watched the episode. But anyway, all of that, probably recording the challenges... I'd say on average takes about three hours altogether, I'd have said. And this is when I start recording in a position, you know, in this chair that's a little bit more familiar. But before that, you realise it's at least been half an hour since you last had a cup of tea. The body's about to go into hibernation. One word. Priorities. Anyway, now we're pretty much ready to start recording the episode properly, you know. So first off, I'll record the intro by looking at here. As I said, this is just an absolute lifesaver. The flip up screen is just my sun and my stars. And also I can plug in my Yeti mic. I never used to be able to do this with the camera I'm using right now. This one, you can plug anything into it because it doesn't have a mic little slot. But this one, I can connect my Yeti to that so I don't have to basically put the audio from my mic into Sony Vegas and spend more time trying to sync that up with the camera footage and also the gameplay. So it basically takes like another level out of the syncing up, which is ideal. This one I don't actually record with at all when I'm in here, but you know, I might as well just stay there because um, there's not really anywhere else to put it. Also, this painting is essentially a whole person in my life. It's a painting of the Lake District. It's a place we used to go to quite a lot in my childhood and still do go to at times. But basically, you know, anytime I get angry at FIFA, you just look at that and how can you be angry? Tell me. Uh, that's my secret. So anyway, I do the intro looking at all this and then we can get on to the first game. So these are the two monitors that I do most of my stuff on. That third one should be, uh, but don't ask me why, because if I knew it would be. All right, so you press a button back here and this is when, with a bit of, with a bit of, no, no, FIFA 16 needs an update. Nice. Well, usually that's where all the magic happens, but, um, okay. So after I've done the intro, I then need to start recording the gameplay and I use the Elgato HD 60, that's definitely not its name. Anyway, it's somewhere under here, so all that stuff is plugged in and obviously, you know, fairly standard stuff around YouTube. Record it on that screen, play the game on this one. Syncing up gameplay is the real issue here, so you have to have some sort of system. A lot of people have the, the whole right-left thing, but I usually go with a pretty technical... You, you've, you've seen this if you've been, ever been in my streams, but I just go... Shut up, camera's gone out of battery. See, there's always something that goes wrong. So after the first game's been played, I have to have a look at how long it took me to complete the first challenge. This is a completed project, by the way, of the challenges. I do that in a separate Sony Vegas project. I'll talk a little bit more on that in a bit. But I have to work out how long it took me to complete the first challenge, and then I have to fill in, uh, you know, the new players that have come into this episode. You know, if you do watch the series, this will make a lot more sense. So obviously these are all separate layers, and I have to, you know, cut out the new players, add them in, and, um you know, kind of sort out the graphics for whichever stage of the recording I'm at, make sure I'm following it right, make sure I pick out the right player is an important one, it's always a bit awkward, it hasn't happened to me yet, but I imagine it would be very awkward if I get to the end of an episode and realise that I'd actually picked the wrong player at one stage, it would take a while to explain that one. The graphics is something that really, as it's quite a unique, you know, playlist and stuff, and I love having it, but obviously it does add on, you know, a little bit more time. And then obviously I have to buy the players, record the second game, and do exactly the same for the second game, and then call it a wrap. So to do all the recording, keep up with the graphics, ensure that everything's going smoothly and you haven't messed anything up and to do all the takes to ensure that I'm speaking like a normal human being, which I tell you is difficult with braces at times. To do all just the recording of the games, all the time I'm sitting here for that is probably about three hours, I'd have said. And that's without anything breaking or going wrong which has never happened in the history of me making a video ever. Not looking at anyone in particular. Next, there's getting all the footage from various things onto the computer. That is my computer. It's an absolute monster. I'm quite scared of it myself. Unfortunately, I can't actually see the USB slots from where I sit. So this means I'll be spending the next 10 hours trying to plug a USB into the USB slot. Then the next 10 hours after that, turning it around and trying it the other way around. Then the third 10 hours, realizing that I actually had it the right way around to start off with and actually plugging it in. So yeah. You know, we're up to 30 plus hours on this one video already. And then we're on to the editing. And in a video like this, where there's quite a lot of editing to be done, then it's probably about 60% of all the time that I spend on a video, you know? So at this stage, when you've got, you know, the original files, you're kind of syncing them up, making sure everything's in the base clips, it sort of looks like this. So you've got a big chunk of... Uh everything really. I'm not going to go too deep into all the editing because it's not really all that exciting. But, you know, it starts off looking like this. You've got all the bass clips and ends up with something like that. Are you kidding me? Who's phoning me at this time? If this isn't someone important, I'm going to be annoyed. Hello? Hello? 
We can see that you're entitled to compensation for this accident. Recall back about the compensation. And as you saw at the start, this is what the finished one looks like. But with the ultimate team, there's kind of another aspect as well because I do the challenges in a completely separate project. Because of the timer, it's just easier to keep it in another project with all the layers and stuff. So you've also got the challenges, which admittedly are a lot quicker to edit, but obviously I have to render those clips and stick them in there because it just does make things a little bit easier as well. And editing is the one real thing that you can't really get a concept of, you know, how much time goes into it unless you, uh, you know, have done it properly yourself. Last episode, I just hit a brick wall in terms of the editing on stage. I was trying to find a bit of music for one of the challenges and I must have been searching for about an hour to find a decent music track and I just like oh it just nothing nothing that I came across fit and you just it's some things like that that you can't really predict but it ends up just kind of mounting up you know second last thing to do is the rendering I'd have probably said I have to render each video three times because the playback in Sony Vegas isn't great so you can't spot some things and you know there's always something that you need to change that's another thing probably the worst thing about making a video is when you get a little something slightly wrong like either you haven't you've, you've somehow put the wrong image in or a clip hasn't cut at the right point and you've rendered it you've got it ready to upload you've told people that you're uploading this video then and you've realized that there's an error in it it is just the most frustrating thing because generally these videos probably take about 20 minutes to render 20 minutes to upload and process so if you notice there's something wrong once you've uploaded it because, you know, you will do, like, final checks and stuff. That, that adds on another hour until you can upload the video. And people just don't take that for an answer. Then it's rendered. Stick it up on YouTube. Make the thumbnail in the meantime of the processing. Trust me, there'll be there'll be plenty of time for the thumbnail during the processing. Then you're on to the best part of making any video. Letting all you guys watch it and getting the feedback. Until the first dislike. You're dead to me. So three hours for the challenges, three hours for the recording, like six, probably more like seven for the editing. You know, it's going to be more like 13, 14 hours for a video like this. And that's, you know, if you don't hit any brick walls or anything like that. So that's the kind of time you're looking at, you know, to ensure that in the first day, 400,000 people won't be sitting there laughing at you at any sort of stupid error you've made in the video. And to give you a bit more of an idea, ever since I pressed start on the stop clock on my phone right at the start of this video, to now when I've pretty much edited the whole video and I'm just going to take this clip, put it in and render it, it has been, in all the time that I've been working on this video, I've kind of been stopping and starting it. Let's find out if the focus is going to let us down. No, it's not. 11 hours and 21 Minutes. I mean, obviously, you can decide to take my word for that or not, but do you know how many packs I could have opened in that time? So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I just wanted to produce something a little bit different to show some of you a bit of an insight. You know, don't worry, the next one will probably be a pack opening. But please make sure to leave a like if you have enjoyed this video. Obviously, I could put less effort into my videos and upload daily. There's always, you know, it's kind of getting that balance, and that's why some YouTubes can upload daily. Not that that means those videos will be worse or anything. It just means that less time will have gone into that video, if you see what I'm saying, regardless of how good the video is. But anyway, please make sure to subscribe. Subscribe if you are new around here. I don't usually make too many videos, you know, borderline just complaining about my incredibly tough job. And that's going to be it for me today. So thank you for watching again, and I shall see you later.